Hello everybody, welcome back to the garden. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm gonna hurry up with this video here because we've got a heavy storm rolling through, which means some great water for the plants, but not such optimal conditions for recording outside. Today, we're getting some late season seeds germinated like our pole beans, and then we also have some extra zucchini that we're gonna throw out here to have kind of succession planting with those, even though normally people don't succession plant zucchini. But my whole point is that we have some seeds that we have to get germinated. An easy way that you guys can increase your germination rate and speed up that germination is by creating a cool little greenhouse for your seeds. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. It's a quick and easy tip that can help you guys out in certain situations if you don't have the right temperatures where you guys live. So all you've gotta do is get like a wide mouth mason jar like this one here, or any large glass or container that is translucent. You could even use plastic tubs if you would like to. And what we're going to do is simply place these over the seeds when we plant them to increase the temperature of the soil and keep in humidity in the soil, which we all know is going to create a better environment for germinating those seeds. We don't want dry soil when germinating. So if you use these little mini greenhouses here, it's really gonna help out on both of those fronts. So right here is our trellis that we made out of chicken wire and then some two by two boards. This is going to provide a great growing medium for these pole beans to climb up and for those tendrils to grab onto. Really easy to make too. I really recommend making some of these at home if you haven't already. So we're just gonna make a little hole, a little less than an inch deep, cover it up. I'm gonna plant a couple of them per container here because we dried out these seeds ourselves. So I'm not sure exactly how much of a germination rate we'll get. But then we're gonna take this container right here, this pretty big mason jar, and just press it down a little bit into the soil. So we've got a nice seal on there. The soil is already wet, so I don't have to pre-moisten it. But if it were completely dry, at this point, before I put the jar over it, what I would do is give it a nice uh, soaking to make sure that there's moisture in the soil and this jar here is going to help contain that moisture. Get a couple of more right there. Press the mason jar right in. And there we've created two little mini greenhouses for our seedlings to germinate in. This quick and easy tip can really come handy in situations where you don't quite have the temperatures that you need to germinate your seeds outdoors, but are rearing to get them growing and maybe don't have a space to germinate them indoors or just haven't gotten to it because we all know how busy we can be as gardeners getting outside, getting active and catching up on all of the growth that we've had with all of our perennial stuff too. I'm probably gonna have an update video pretty soon here, a spring garden tour on all of the growth that we're having on these plants outside in the landscape before we move to our new home. We are officially closing on Monday, so I am super, super excited for that. I can't wait. I am ready to transform another lawn because we did the same thing with this one. We went from nothing but grass to uh, a couple of garden beds and landscape perennial flower garden beds all around the entire property. Some fruit trees, crab apples. If I went through and listed all the perennial flowers that we have growing now, I think I'd be here for about half an hour. So it has been amazing to see this backyard transform and I hope you guys stay tuned to see us do it again because it's going to be one wild ride and I think we're gonna be at this property for a long period of time. Again, this one that we're growing at right now is just the in-laws because we had a condo up to this point. But now that we have a home with some land, we're able to put some real time and effort into making this place shine like it really should. We are building fences. We are building between 12 to 18 garden beds, lots of trellis systems. We're gonna use some cattle panels to create some nice arches. We're gonna have lots of fruit trees. Willow trees will be growing left and right, elderberries, 
all kinds of stuff. Uh, we're gonna have a couple of videos coming up on catching water, creating rainwater system that we can use in our garden beds too. So uh, we don't use so much of the uh, utility sewer line instead, so we can harvest rainwater. And we've got that coming, I think next week we'll be able to set that up. But either way, you get my point. We have so much stuff coming up. I'm super excited. We're gonna be super busy. But I promised you guys I'm going to make as many videos as I can. We're going to keep on with a nice and solid schedule for you guys so you're aware of everything that we're doing in the garden here. And I'm just super, super excited. Do I have to say it again? Probably not. Thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it entertaining and possibly even learned a little bit. Use these tips in your garden this year. Share the video with somebody you know could benefit from it. Thank you guys all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.